they talk about a sphere, right? And then they give you some dimensions for its radius, I believe. What's the radius of the sphere they're talking 7. about? 7.5, thank you. Uh, what is that, centimeters? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So you, you recognize this is a question about surface area, so you dutifully go to the surface area formula, you punch in your numbers, and I think you get 705 something? Yeah, 706. 706 and? 86. 86? Does it just keep going? Oh, wait, of course it does, it's not fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so whatever. And that's in square centimeters, okay? So you've worked out the surface area of this sphere. Then you look at the question again. It says, how many such spheres can I paint if I've got enough paint to cover a square meter? Is that what? No, 10 square meters. 10, isn't it? 10 square meters. Okay? Now, just stay with me for a second. You've got a surface area in these units, and then you've got an amount of paint in these units. Now, the units are not the same. Okay? So, I have a bit of a challenge for myself. I've got to be able to convert between these, and then I have to try and mash these numbers together in the correct way. Okay? So here's my first question. Do I want to change this into square centimeters, or do I want to change this into square meters? What do you reckon? You want to change this one to square meters? Who, who changes this to square meters? Okay, how about changing, who wants to do this one to square centimeters? Okay, hands down, here's the thing, right? These are units. I can change them whichever way I like. As long as they're talking the same language, it's fine. However, I'm going to put in a vote to change this one. Let me show you why. Okay? If I were to convert this into square centimeters, the first thing I need to remember is that a square meter is a square meter, okay? is one meter by one meter. That's what a square meter is by definition. Okay? But then you have to think about the conversion. Now, I'm going to centimeter squared, right? Well, a meter is 100 centimeters. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. And this meter is also 100 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So now to think about this square, it's 100 times 100. So this, in fact, is 10,000 square centimeters. Okay? Times 10, right? So therefore, this is 100,000 square centimeters. That's how much paint I've got, right? Now, some of you have suggested, well, what about this guy? Can I convert this instead? That's fine. We'll just do it in reverse. I multiplied this by 10,000 because I went from a big unit to a small unit. Small units, there's lots of them. Does that make sense? Here, I'm going from a little unit to a big unit. So the number should get smaller because there's not many of them. They're really big units. So I'm going to divide this by 10,000 instead of multiplying by 10,000. What is this going to become? Uh, there are four zeros I've got to move, right? So I think this is going to turn into 0 0.070686 dot, 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 dot. Did I move it the right number of decimal places? I think so. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I got it. Okay. Now, this is still true. It's, that is how many square meters each one of my spheres is. Okay. But if I have a choice about which pair of numbers I have to use, this one and 1, that's in square meters, <coughs> Or this one at 100,000, I'm going to choose the one with like less weirdo decimals in it. It's just easier to work with. Okay? So now here comes the question of how to combine these. Here's how much paint I've got. Here's how much each individual sphere is. I think most of us know that there's some division involved, right? There's some division. But the question is, do I divide this by this? Or do I divide this by this? 100,000 by the... Water. Okay, so the number of spheres is going to be this number here. This is the number, this is the amount of paint. I'm going to split it out across all these different spheres. Did you get that? This is the number that gets split. So to split a number, you put it at the front. And then you're going to divide it by, well, that's how much each one of them is. Okay. Now, I don't know what this is. It's 100 and something, isn't it? 141 point something. Okay. Now, if you were to do this the other way, if you did 706 divided by 100,000, you're going to get like 0 0.007 or something like that. How many spheres is that? Not even a whole sphere. That doesn't make sense. 
does it. I should be able to paint a whole bunch of spheres. Okay? So if, for example, you did this the other way, look at your answer and think, what's gone wrong? Something is not quite right here because I can't even paint a whole sphere. And that, that sort of prompts you to think, okay, I'm actually dividing it the wrong way around. Does that make sense? So this is the way I'd approach it. So a lot of people have asked me that question before. It is confusing. But when you think about it slowly, don't, don't jump to your calculator. And also, please make sure you've got this on your page. If you're doing all the things in your calculator, if you get it right first time, then good for you. But if, like most of us, you're a little confused, you've got no work if you go back and check on it. Okay? <laughs>